Hey everyone, welcome to Andy's Game Vault. I'm Andy, and today we're playing one of my favorite games, Civilization IV. And, uh, let's get started with a single player uh, continents map. I'm going to do random climate, random sea level. I'll be doing the French Empire with Napoleon. Oh, I'm going to do Prince difficulty because I haven't played in a while. And the um, it, it still gives a slight boost to the AI with uh, production research. So it should give me a pretty good challenge. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at our starting location. Looks like we've got uh, some marble right next to us. That's pretty good. Got a goodie hut. I'm going to go ahead and pop that with my city rather than wait until my warrior gets it. But uh, looks like uh, we just got a map, which is pretty lousy for a uh, goodie hut. Um, actually, it's not the worst. It, worst is hostile, but I don't think you can get hostile with a city. So I'm going to go up here and uh, go for mysticism because I want to build the uh, Stonehenge wonder. And we're going to send our warrior up there to that goodie hut. Not a bad start. Uh, we got a lot of floodplains, so that's a lot of food for um, our city here. Um, and some hills for good production. And we got uh, uh, pigs up here. That, that'll that be pretty good, too. So, uh, yeah, let's get, him up, get, him, get that goodie hut. And 96 gold. That's a lot of gold. That is a good, um, a good reward there. Um, you usually get around between, I think, 30 and 100, so getting 96 is uh, pretty good. I don't know the exact numbers, but uh, I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good result. A lot of jungle up here. Uh, that means the development will be pretty slow has imprinted on the minds for of all any city because you got to chop down all those uh, jungles before you uh, can build. So I'm going to go with animal husbandry right away uh, because we got those pigs. I want to start working those as soon as possible. We'll wait till we get a little bit more. I think I'm going to start on the uh, Stonehenge right now, get a few production engines. Um, but I'll build a worker when I get a few more population. Uh, there we got our first neighbor, which is Darius. Um, hopefully we're not too close to him. And uh, I want to scout out. I don't want to scout too far from my city. We're going to keep it in a radius around my starting city. Uh, it's too bad I, uh, I should have maybe moved this over one. Um, no, I think this is a good starting location. Okay, there's Darius. He is kind of close. These small maps uh, tend to spawn neighbors pretty close, so that's pretty typical for a small map. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to get that goodie hut for sure. Let's hope he doesn't steal it from me. And 58 gold. Wow, we're starting off with a lot of gold. You know, I prefer tech early on. But uh, gold is the next best thing, so um, so that's not bad. All right, go up here. Going to continue to explore, and then maybe go up there later. Uh, get this worker. Okay, we got uh, our animal husbandry. No horses uh, within sight immediately. Uh, I'm going to go with masonry so we can get that working as soon as possible too. Uh, although it won't help us with the Stonehenge, but uh, Stonehenge is not the hardest uh, wonder to get. The AI doesn't typically tend to go for it too quickly, so uh, we do have time. Um, yeah, so I'm not too worried about it, but I do want to be pretty quiz quick. Oh, we did get horses down here. That's pretty cool. Uh, maybe build a settlement over here. And that would get those horses. It's kind of close to my capital, but uh, maybe build it right on top of it. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of workable tiles for my capital. It doesn't need all those down below, you know. It could share a couple, so maybe on the hills. I don't know. We'll see what the AI says and see if that influences me. We've got some gyms up here. That might be another good location for a starting settlement. Uh, but let's just keep going. Oh, 
explore a little bit in this direction and then go back up. So we'll go here. And I hate leaving him undefended. It is from their Okay, we got our masonry. Friends, and the then we're in the lesson of building high walls. Uh can I start building mines right away? Uh, I don't have oh I do have one blank kill that I can build mines on. Okay, we got our settle. We'll start off with the the pigs. And uh we'll go up here or here, down here, up there to continue exploring, keeping us kind of close to our capital. All right, you're going to build the pigs, and then maybe go down here and build um, build that. So we're getting uh, three turns for another growth. I may switch this over, but I don't want to be stagnant. I may just micromanage this city a little bit. Let's think about that. Uh, yeah, I think I will stick him here. Um, so we can still grow. Nah, let's just wait until we improve it. Because we'll go to the pigs next. And uh, then... The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. So I'll go to bronze working. And continue to explore up here. And then as soon as we're done with this pasture, I'll go down here and build a quarry. Because I do have masonry. And did I... So I grew, and then we went on here. We got the pigs. We're doing one farm. Okay, we're doing a lot of production now. We got it. We're gonna get Stonehenge in 14 turns. That should be good. We should be able to get that. Um, it's definitely not too late to get Stonehenge. Um, again, because the AI doesn't go for it aggressively. Not like the Oracle. Having this uh, marble will really help with that Oracle, because that is one thing I'm gonna try for, especially since we do have the the marble because you get a double production bonus with marble for oracle so 10 more turns you get the stone hinge and then i'll go build some warriors and uh settlers um and start uh claiming more territories so um i may go here Build the road so that we can connect it and actually get our resources at the capital, not just work the tiles. That'll be nice. Okay, four turns away for Stonehenge. We're also growing in five turns. Entirely seamless. We got bronze working. In battle. I want to check out to see the if there is spear. any bronze around in here. Death, that all would be really cool. Fair. Should I go for iron working right away or writing? I'm going to go with writing so I can build libraries. Keep uh, keep up. Try to keep up as much as possible with the AI for research. In the beginning, it's really hard to keep up with the AI. Uh, should I move you? Uh, we get the 25% hill bonus. Yeah, sure. Um, I like our odds. It's not the end of the world if we lose this guy either. Probably, probably no more goodie huts to explore. Uh, you never know. Oh, stone is up there, but that's pretty far from my capital. It'll be a long time before we could get that. All right, we got our stone hinge, and we're working on the warrior. So I'm going to go back to the capital, and I will build one farm here. And uh, got to zoom in a little bit. When you get stone hinge, for some reason, it zooms you out. I guess because it updates the map uh, and shows you where the rest of the, how big the world is. So you go ahead and build a farm and uh, continue to explore. There's some copper really far away. I don't see any other copper anywhere. Close. Wow. That's really far. Um, this is a pretty big island for just two sieves. I'm surprised we haven't run into anybody else. There might be. Okay, we definitely need to start doing uh, uh, more settlements. But where do we want to go? Do we want to go and get those horses? No, we don't. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Maybe later. I can backfill it. Uh, we've got a lot of jungle here. So that's not ideal for starting location um, if there was copper I may go out here and try to get these elephants and we got fresh water here so I'm gonna sit you up 
on this hill and see what the AI says about uh, building over there. So this is gives us um, extra defense here in this forest, so we should be okay against these lions. Yep. And we'll rest up for three turns. Take a look at our capital. We got eight turns for this settler. And I think I will try to get iron next. Because if I don't have, there's no bronze around here, no copper around here. So without copper, I definitely need to have iron close by. So True glory consists let's go in ahead and do that. In we writing, do open borders. To be I think I'm okay with doing that. It doesn't hurt. Not that I need to go into his borders just yet. But we'll continue to work here. I'm going to go ahead and try to hook up those horses. And, uh, okay, I'm the wealthiest civilization, which makes sense because I got those really good, those really big goody huts. Because Cyrus has a scout, I doubt I'm going to find any uh, more goody huts because he gets that double movement bonus. And he probably popped all the goody huts. So, got him. We'll go with the library. And then we'll uh, start looking. I kind of want to go over here because it's closer to Darius. And I I, I want to... I don't want to be boxed in too much by him. So I want to build some settlements closer to him first. He probably won't like it, but... Uh, what I'm going to do. You just have to deal with it. And, uh, wow. We'll go in the city. We'll pop the city here. And uh, hopefully we don't uh, lose it. Wow, another barbarian. Two barbarians. He had to cross the river, so that gave us a bonus. Do we get a natural city defense? Yeah, we do. Good. So we can't leave our cities undefended anymore because barbarians are now spawning. So you're naturally worried. So, yeah, we'll get you a warrior. And, uh, wow, another one. Oh, I think I already saw him. And he doesn't want to fight. That's fine. We'll continue to explore. Set you down right here. We'll have to wait for that library because I, I think I need to get... I need to build more settlers and more warriors. So you will... I think it's the AI said right here, which... That's, I think that's, that's good. Wow, another one over here. This would be a good map to have the Great Wall because it's kind of exposed, especially in my north. Oh, I lost him. That's fine. Um, in my north section, there's a lot of tiles where barbarians can spawn. Um, I'm hoping to find iron nearby. And I got my horses. And I can build a chariot, but I won't. We'll go and build a mine. Oh, I need to hook up those pigs, too, because that... There's a lot of food. Let's uh, just defend right here. Okay, I got my iron. You should hammer that your moved iron me into the classical era, the era. So let's do pottery, because I do want to start building some cities. Oh, good, good. We got, uh, we got iron. I can build another worker instead. Uh, instead of the settler, so we can go and get that hooked up quicker and you're just going to go there and then he'll just build the road there and that will connect my two cities with the road the potter power that'll be good the too to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor and uh, now I want to try for that uh, oracle so I'm going to go and build meditation and priesthood and then I will go for code of laws and get a religion set up too and I've already got writing so, uh, I'll be all set for the Code of Laws uh, when I build the Oracle. But let's get another Settler. And I think I do want to go here because we got fresh water. And that will... I want to go here and get the spices. I, 
the AI always uh, um, selects uh, defensive areas, but I don't think it's as good because um, even though it's on a hill, that gives us better defense. But we got all those spices, and we're, we'd only get we'd only get the one here. So I want to get all of them because those will be a lot of money for this city. And uh, you, yeah, you want to go there too, and build a road. Uh, and he's going to build pigs. Yeah, you go here. And do I want to build Great Wall? If I had stone, I'd definitely go for it. But I'm just going to go build some warriors. And then get a few warriors and fog bust up here so that uh, barbarians don't spawn. So I've got the stone hinge, and that means I get monuments. So this is already building culture. Uh, Orleans is already expanding. And uh, after priesthood, I'll probably Lack go of meditation for. Leaves ignorance. No I'll probably go for hunting, so I can get back. those elephants worked on. And yeah, build the pigs there. And we, we're a little bit out of range of the gems, but getting that library will help our culture and develop that a little faster. Fifteen turns to the Great Wall. I think I am going to do it. And uh, get this guy to build a mine here. That'll really help, too. Because I got a lot of production here. That's a lot of production. A lot of production on my, um, my marble. And then three here and four here. And we'll get another four when we get the mine up. And we'll chop that tree. So that'll be really cool. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to go for Great Wall. I got to go for Oracle. What am I thinking? Uh, no. Uh, shoot. So, one turn. Anything I can get in one turn? A warrior. Yeah. Let's just get a warrior. You can do some fog busting. The Lord bless and then, you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Hunting. The Lord lift so I up his get those elephants upon you and, up. and, you and give you chop. And then we got our warrior up here. We'll just set him up here to do fog busting. And you. Go here to build a city and do some chopping. And I don't want this. I want Oracle. Five turns. Eh. It might be too late. It might be too late to get Oracle. Because usually around 900 BC is when the AI typically gets it. So I might be too late. But I definitely want to try it because I need a religion. He's going for that religion in 16 rabbits, turns. You will lose well, I already own. got a uh, vision on his uh, his research. That means uh, that's because we're so close. I don't really have courthouses yet, so I don't have a lot of spying set up, but I guess because we're so close. So now that we've got that, I want to try, I think, just do some... Metal casting, so I can get more production bonus, or I don't really care about horseback riding because they're so weak against spears. But I might go for sailing, even though I don't have a coastal city yet. I need to build one. Um, yeah, I don't really want that. Uh, we will go for metal casting. Twenty-five turns, so that's uh, pretty far away, but. So I'll get the two turns. We'll get the oracle, hopefully. All right, we'll see. Uh, I hope I get the oracle, because then I can get, I'll get great profit in nine turns, and then I'll be able to get that extra money, and, and hopefully it goes to the Orleans. Both of these cities are going to be pretty good for that. Uh, let's do code of loss. Get my Confucianism. Uh, oh, it's not too late. Okay, yeah, got Confucianism. So that's great. Yes, we're going to start that. One turn Send our guy here. And uh, we're working on the Great Wall so that we don't have to worry about barbarians because uh, we're so exposed. Um, we got the two chops that really helped with the Great Wall. So that 
Let's see if we can get that. You build a city here. You go up here and start building cities up here. You just do some fog busting. Probably build another city up here to get those horses and that corn. I'm building a spearman. I don't remember selecting a spearman. Huh. I don't remember that. I don't want that. I want a library. Okay, we've got all our cities hooked up with our religion, which is only three. Okay, two turns for Great Wall. And I got my uh, Great Prophet, so we'll get the religious building, which will get us gold and start spreading the religion. Darius should uh, should convert as soon as he uh, gets it, which we don't. We won't have to send any missionaries. He'll get it automatically because we're we are trading with him. And then once we get the Great Prophet, the religion will spread automatically. So we'll go with Courthouse. That gives us a little extra. We got the Great Wall. And yeah, things are looking pretty good on this run. Um, get a city going here. And uh, nice. Uh, that didn't give us too much money. But our religion's just starting. So you know what? I think I want to go for Calendar on my research. Forget about metal casting for now. Let's go with alphabet. <laughs> I know I'm being a little wishy-washy, but it, he's getting mathematics. Maybe we can trade with him. And I wonder where I am in research. I hope we get a report soon. There we go. He's converted, and that means we're getting more money here, too. And get that courthouse set up. And go with the barracks. And so I'm, I'll split these up. I'll build one more house and then another farm. And uh, we can't build that yet, but we can do a house here. Uh, why, 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 why settle right there? Seriously, Darius. Why? It's not even a great tile. You get those gems. Is he gonna? Does he do well on culture? Lions probably will definitely out culture him. All right, I want to build another, some more military units and get some more settlers going. I do need more workers. I need a lot more workers because my land is totally undeveloped. All right, let's do settler here. And uh, wow, look at him just boxing me in, just totally boxing me in. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get, let's just get him out here. We're definitely going to have to go to war now because uh, he's totally boxing us in. And I'm not a big fan of that. Wow, we got some, we can build some wineries here. So I probably won't build too many more cities. Uh, I will just focus on military right now. And um, so I, I'll finish this settler, find a good place for him. Probably up here and get that horse. I don't know. We'll see what the AI says with the little circles. Words have the power to okay. I want to go with monarchy so I can build those wineries down and here. Time, they can change our world. And we'll see where the AI suggests we do, do a granary. Still got the blue circle here. A blue circle here. Get those wineries going. Uh, I wanted to go up here and get that die, but he totally boxed me in. Um, do I want to go just safe, go here? Sure. And then I'll get an Axeman. Go build here. And i got to go for construction. Let's see if he'll be able to trade anything. Wow, he's got a lot that I don't have, but he's not willing to trade it. 
Well, that's just no good. Um, build up some defenses. We should be fairly, fairly friendly with each other. And I can't forget to build workers. Gotta get workers. All right, just. Oh yeah, I want to send a. Send a guy here. We'll do library, courthouse. Courthouse is good. And you up here. You go here. Then build a road. And then we'll get that corn going. Get a mine going. That city will be okay. Hi. I don't even know if I want to build here because he's got the city so close. But Lion's got a lot of coach culture. We're getting 10 per turn. I doubt he's getting very much culture. Although he just took that. Um, I think we're safe. I think we're safe with Lions getting the library. And yeah, might even get another worker because we are a um, little bit behind here. I need calendar. I need so much. I need so much. And go get that corn. Build a city here. We're getting another worker. We could get elephants here. Let's do a spearmen. Ooh, yeah, we'll get we'll lose some gold, but maybe maybe he won't attack us this this game. I I cut my research down. I don't. I want to gain some of that gold back. I used to be the richest sieve in the world, but now I'm not anymore. Because I just sent a lot of money to my neighbor. Not a good thing. Let that be one ruler. All right. We king. just got monarchy, so we can build those wineries. Now I've got to try and get to construction because we're going to go to war because he boxed us in. I don't like it. Go with the granary first. Um, I think Lions needs a lot of development. We can build some farms up here. And let's see what he's willing to trade. Still nothing. He's not trading anything. Except for fishing. Just give us this. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I, I had a feeling that he'd do that. And I have a feeling that he will not do this. Because they don't tend to... These can be used as weapons. Not yet. You have to research it. But uh, still, they don't like to, to trade uh, things that can be used as weapons. Or to build units. Give a man a fish and you or they don't give day. you a fair deal. Teach a man to you have to give him, you feed him extra stuff lifetime. to get that kind of stuff. All right, someone built the Great Lighthouse. We don't even have a coastal city. Oh, yeah, we do. We have one coastal city, but it's not very good. Uh, we'll go with barracks. I should have built the barracks last turn, but that's okay. I'm not going to build a road because we got all this jungle. we got to develop it. We build a road here, though, and almost getting that granary. Will he trade us anything? Let's try again. Still not trading anything. That jerk, he boxes us in. First he boxes us in, then he refuses to trade. He's not a very good, good friend. So, oh, look at this. We're working this tile, and it doesn't even have any improvements. So we've got to fix that. Lions is going to be a pretty good, pretty good once it gets developed. It's got a lot of production, a lot of food. Uh, getting calendar will really help it. But right now, I got to focus on building up a very strong military because um, we need to fight. We got to fight. We don't have enough land. We're boxed in. Uh, completely boxed in. He went up here. It's crazy. I don't need to be fog busting up there anymore. Crazy that he boxed us in. He's got all this territory up here, and he's boxing us in. Well, I mean, he wants us to go to war, I guess. He just wants to go to war with us, which I'll, I'll oblige him if that's what he wants. I will oblige him. Okay, he's got his immortals, which are the special horsemen, and they get... Plus 100% attack against Axemen. Uh, so I need to get some spears. Uh, for sure. And uh, anything else I need to improve? 
this one's being worked. This one's being worked. Let's build this. Uh, I want to build a farm. Actually, I. Yeah, I build a farm here. Not a lot of food for that guy. Got to build a lot of spearmen because of his, because of his immortals, farm. Maybe should have gone up there and got rid of that jungle. I don't know. Wait, do you have a barracks? Build a barracks first. Uh, I don't have plantation yet, so I can't build there. Let's see, what are you working? So I've improved all of the tiles that you're working, but let's go here and build a city. And another great profit. I'm just going to go up here and just... Wait, uh, I do need to look at my civics. Yeah, I need organized religion. Um, that'll give me a huge production boost. So before I do construction, let's do... Oh, that's two. Maybe he'll trade. Maybe he'll trade. Oh, what a jerk. What a jerk. I'm just going to sleep him. How many turns before I get my next one? 50 turns, yeah. Let's just pop a golden age right now, actually. I don't have organized religion. How many turns for organized religion? Seven turns. How long does a great golden age last? Because I can, think I can do two civics in one golden age. What? What? He canceled the peace treaty? Oh, that was because of... Uh, I demanded... I. He gave me a free gift, so that means I can declare war on him now. He always could have declared war on me, but right now I can. Do, do I want another worker? No. Okay, so I was a little worried that he was, like, canceling deals with me, but we didn't really have any trade deals going. And, uh, yeah, house here. And uh, what, what do we want? Where do we want to go? Here, build a... Oh, we get that elephant. Yeah, he's got pretty big military too. We're in an arms race. And oh yeah, I need to I need to get that winery hooked up. Sure. Not at all similar are the race of the Spearman and the race of men who walk upon the earth. Okay, three turns to monotheism so I'm gonna pop the great golden age and we got eight turns I could change my civic now and then how many turns before I can pop it again I'll just wait it's just two more turns I'm just gonna wait and then I'll get organized religion as well go back I am to the Lord thy God now shall I have no other gods before me Where's my construction? Right here. And build up my military. Build up my military. And then I do want to change my civics now. Hereditary, caste system, and organized religion. That caste system. Okay, my upkeep is still just one. So that's not too bad. All right. And I get that plus 20% uh, construction bonus from the organized religion. And swordsman, axeman, and definitely got to hook up that wine. All right. How many turns before we get another? That's just because we're in a golden age. We get double the base rate, but uh, let's see here. More military. Now, I don't know if I want to build too many axemen. I need to go with swordsmen. I got a lot of axemen already. Let's uh, let's change that up to swordsmen. And pretty soon, though, that it, I'm going to go. And then, what am I doing? I should build the winery first. Uh, swordsmen. Swordsmen. One more turn to construction. We'll just continue to do swordsmen. And... Uh, then we'll get the we'll get tons of catapults, and then go to war. All right, we got our construction. I'm going to build archery because it's just one turn, and they provide so much defense. And uh, he's doing calendar. Not that it will help us because uh, 
We'll be going to war soon, and he doesn't really trade with us. Nope, still don't want to trade. You go hook up this ivory, and we'll build a road here so that we can build up and send military reinforcements pretty quickly. Uh, we're not going to give you anything. You won't even trade with us. You won't trade anything with us. We're not giving you free tech. Do not throw the arrow you which will me? return against you. Metal casting, although it's going to be a while before I build any uh, forges. So let's just build a bunch of catapults. Actually, you build spearmen. Because we do need spearmen. And you build you build catapults. You spam up the catapults. Uh, we do need spearmen because they've got the immortals. And they're surrounding us. So we need to have a lot of defensive units because they might try to do some sneak attacks from above. So we need to have like some defensive guys here in uh, Lions, I think. And, uh, yeah, more catapults. More catapults. I wonder if this is enough soldiers, though, for my main assault. Uh, my golden age is injured. Okay, I'm losing two gold per turn, so I want to reduce that. But we got a pretty big army. If only we had more catapults, then uh, we'll be ready to go. We'll hook up the ivory. Just defend here. And man, I wish there was a road here. Maybe I'll build that later. So what does he got? Uh, I think I want to get a scout. You wake up and start scouting. But, uh, where's my scout? You know what? I'm going to control him. Yeah, that's a good place to go. Hey, we're so close to his capital. So... We'll be able to take his capital out pretty quickly. And that'll be good. That'll hurt him a lot. Oh, that's not his capital. Where's his capital? Must be up here somewhere. And this guy was a jerk. Just uh, the way he, you know, built all his cities just surrounding me. When there's all this space up here. And then the fact that he doesn't trade anything. I mean, AI is... Uh, different from each character, so I guess he's just not a sword. very trading kind of guy. Um, get a market and a grocer. Feudalism, because I want to vassalize him once I uh, take him over. So, yeah, we'll just do a lot of catapults. So, you do a couple. And um, you do a couple. And get over there. Get over there. Send another scout. And you just build a road to here, road to nowhere. We can transport troops around a little better. Research calendar. Well, we're doing feudalism first. So, let's take a look at this. Got a lot of unworked tiles. We'll build a city here. Um, well, we don't have 22 golds. I don't know what that did. That gave us any kind of bonus at all. Three catapults, definitely not enough. Although he doesn't have walls yet. Um, 
There's his capital. Really tiny capital. Interesting. Build a mine there. So, five catapults. We'll wait for one more, and then we'll go. And um, keep on scouting. And same with you. So we got five here. I thought I put a couple guys up here. I guess I forgot. Let's send him up here. And uh, road. Just to make uh, sending troops around a little bit easier. And we don't have any horsemen up here. So I think they'll stay mostly defensive. Um, we could use a house here. And uh, let's go. Send my catapults here. And get my warriors out of their territory. Just send him back home. I think we've scouted enough. We'll leave them in the northern territories. We'll take out these two cities for sure and then move our armies back up. I think we'll be in good shape. Well, let's get these guys up. And get all my swordsmen. Most of my... We'll save three axemen and two spearmen. Actually, uh, and we'll send these guys up protect my mines and uh, yeah I think we're gonna be good to go to war next turn so yeah I'm gonna put a cut in here on our next turn we're gonna go to war with uh, Darius and uh, see how that goes so it's a pretty good start uh, we're pretty close to Darius in score we're friends with him and now he's willing to trade. Uh, but I'm not willing to trade. I'm what willing to go to war. He doesn't have walls yet. He's very vulnerable. And uh, he's uh, got a building more settlers. Get out of blow. So I want to get my guy. Well, he'll teleport out when I declare war. Can I put a cut in here? Uh, we'll see you next time.